Hey everybody, coming to you today from the World War II room from the Ultimate Collection here. I thought I'd give you a tour and show you some stuff, uh, some of my favorite things from this room. We're gonna start up here with some artwork. This is a piece I did, Return of the Thunderbolts. Now this is uh, uh, probably a uh, sortie mission coming back over uh, from uh, France to England here. You can see by the plow man there and they're returning to some airfield they've got. The reason I got such a fascination with the Thunderbolts is my uncle, John Drummond, was a P-47 pilot, 21-year-old pilot, called him Ace, uh, and he was a squadron leader, uh, the 510th fighting group. They called him Jerry's Junkers, and uh, his CO was Jenkins, so they called him Jenkins Jerry Junkers. That was his unit, and when I started depicting these guys, uh, I, I studied them so much that uh, all of these paintings that I've done have the original nose art from the pilots themselves. You see here on that one, that's the bug and tipsy. Those are two of his fellow pilots there. Also, here's a good example. Right here, we've got uh, this strafing mission here. And if you look up in here, you got uh, the Kansas tornado. Hot diggity, I talked to this pilot uh, before he passed away, when I was gathering some information about my uncle. So all of my work here, I've done P-47s more than anything, uh, because I grew up listening to my uncle's stories. I was sitting on his lap while he was cooking at the deer camp and making venison hash the best around in 96 South Carolina. So I had an early formation of big respect for these guys because of my uncle's stories. He was shot down at D-Day plus two and spent a year and a half in a prison camp. He survived and came back home and became a South Carolina Senator for over 40 years, I believe. I'm really proud of that. Also mixed in here, uh, we've got, uh, here's some more D-Day plus two. It's maybe the same day that he was shot down, but uh, you can see here we've got the Allies advance taking the beachhead and moving in, Normandy. Maybe some uh, 101st here, P-51s going in to carve out a path. Down here we've got some early Spitfires maybe uh, going across the channel there, protecting the border. And up here, here's something cool I'm working on. Dropping in right there just like the 101st and the 82nd. Over here is a uh, neat little diorama I did last year showing the Allies advancing into the woods. The Great Ardennes, the Battle of the Bulge. Here's some early combat. The P-40s going against the Zeros, Japanese Zeros here, and this is probably somewhere over the Pacific, maybe even over China here in one of those early runs. Uh, some of my other favorites here, I'll show you. This is my Marines in the Pacific. And I love this piece because what I did is I actually uh, created the scene and then in the, in the end of it, I put sand, actually sand in my paint, mixed it with my gesso and created this clear gesso mixture and applied it just at the right spots to really create a three-dimensionality and to get that grit and that feel. You can see it's on his knee and it's on his sleeves. It's everywhere. I specifically placed it and then I brushed it off uh, in the places that it, it uh, didn't go. These are our collection of World War I planes. And this is just really something else. And you can see, I decided to have them on this mirror platform so that we can really emphasize this under belly here of the by wings with this uh, camouflage and early design, each one being unique. And here, of course, is this very impressive World War II German diorama. This was uh, commissioned by my partner years ago when we first started to get together. And there was no 
backdrop at all. So I decided to go in and create a backdrop for it. And I made this two panels. That was one of the first large pieces that I did to enhance a diorama. We've got some really cool uh, German tank selection here. We've got Panzers, we've got Tigers, we've got Africa Corps, we've got them in the Ardennes. Here's some more. These are great pieces by Robert Taylor, Michael Gnatic, who was a Marine. And uh, look at that painting of the, the great American general, George Patton Jr. Look at him there. This is him in uh, when he's uh, fighting Rommel there in Northern Africa. Some more paintings you can see here. This is my piece on uh, probably going into France. This GI is taking a private personal moment there. And if you notice, you get the strafing right through the church, enemy fire, but yet on either side, but not piercing at all the savior. So his faith is unbroken. So hope you've enjoyed this little tour of the World War II room. I'll bring you another tour with another room coming up soon. I'll take care.